goodies, what is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming, and today we are going to be building a treehouse, not just any kind of treehouse, we're going to be building a spruce treehouse. What we're going to go ahead and do is start out by needing spruce wood, and I'm just going to go ahead and start anywhere. We're going to go ahead and do a 4x4, four four, like this. And when you're going to go between 25 and 35 blocks high. Now, I picked that because it's the best way I personally think. I'm going to go ahead and just go up, so that's 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The reason I do 25 blocks high is if you guys are building this in the biome that it's made to be in, um, so obviously this would be in one of the newer biomes, the spruce tree biome or whatever, where like the big spruce trees are, uh, you'll be able to see above everything. So it kind of helps out if you guys are playing in survival and you guys have this I'm having trouble, can't fly. There we go. Um, but if you guys are building this in like survival, you guys have a good area to uh, see over so you guys know, like, an advantage point, kind of, basically, I should say. And once you guys have that advantage point, you could be like, okay, so over here looks like a good idea, or to like defend, or like see your friends coming, and stuff like that. Or like when you're traveling um, really far away, you guys can see it really easily. So that's another uh, really good thing for it. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go up, find about round about the middle. It doesn't have to be precise, but just try to make it around about the middle. So this is about the middle for me. And I'm going to place one block sideways, two blocks sideways, and then I'm going to go ahead and place three blocks sideways. And I'm going to go up, and then the one that goes down like this. So that way all on the edges that you cannot see uh, this part here, the top of it. Then we're going to go, whoop, hold on, my key got messed up. We're going to go one, two, three, and then four, and then place another block, and then break here, and then go underneath again so you guys don't see the top of it, like that ring, the tree rings. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and then four again, and then we're going to place here, and then break here, and then go underneath. One, two, three, four, place on top, break underneath, place a block. Then one, two, three, four, place a block. Go underneath, place a block, and there we go. So this is what it should look like. That's the uh, basic frame of what we're trying to do right here. What we're going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and place spruce wood planks, so that way if you guys are building this in survival, um, you guys have a platform now to work off of, so that way you guys don't keep falling out of the treehouse. So that's always important, is to start to build that next. There we go. Then I want to go ahead and fill this all in right here. Except for the one right next to the tree, because that's going to be the door. We're going to go one, two more blocks higher, making it a total of three blocks high. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and place that and keep going up, like so. There we go. What I want to go ahead and do is break all of these underneath so that way they're only on the sides and we're going to go ahead and place this forward facing stair and an upside down stair here a forward stair here an upside down stair here forward stair here and an upside down stair here and actually these ones on the end don't do it so only the ones that are on the side because those are going to be limited by the height that they can go so here we go. So again, on the ends that are the two longest, they should not have a block above, because we'll get to that in a minute. What we're going to go ahead and do is place a block like this, and then we're going to go up and just making it so it looks like this. Now we're going to add our upside down block like that. And we can go ahead and add our glass into the windows as well, which are our glass panes. If you guys would like to use something different, you guys are more than welcome to. Uh, I'm just giving you guys basic ideas on how to build some of these. And I'm going to go ahead and place a spruce wood block here and here. Go down. And an upside down stair here. I'm going to go ahead and place an upside down stair here as well, facing outwards. And once that is all done, what we can go ahead and do from here is... Oh, I actually did mess up, and I do apologize. It's a quick little fix. We just got to bring this up by here, and then break here and here, and here, and then just place wood of the planks. So again, it's a quick little easy fix. I just realized that we need to do something, and if we do it that way, it'll mess it up. There we go. 
So again, just raise it up by one and then just add spruce wood planks all next to it so it looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and get spruce cobblestone stairs and I'm first gonna go ahead and make this a little bit easier to run us because I'm not that good at placing blocks, especially stairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my cobblestone stairs like this, having a one block overhang on this side here and a one block overhang on that side there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite end as well. Make sure you guys are more than welcome to pause the video at any point in time to make sure you guys are doing this properly because I might be going a little bit fast for others, but for some, I'm going the perfect speed. So if you guys are having trouble to keep up, just make sure you guys do pause the video and then do what I do. We're then gonna take our spruce wood stairs and we're gonna go ahead and, actually not spruce, I apologize, it is the dark oaks wood stairs and go, line the top of the roof going all the way here. Now we're not gonna do a one block overhang we're gonna go not do a one block overhang. We're just gonna keep going like this. Um, and I might have to break the tree a little bit just to get in here. I'll fix the tree, but I just wanna get in to the uh, cracks and crevices and let me go ahead and place my tree back. And there we go. So now the tree's fixed and we can continue onward by going ahead and placing the dark oak logs on the opposite end and doing the same exact thing that we just did before. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our slabs, our cobblestone slabs, I might, I might add. Oops. And place them going all the way across. And then go out by one block on both sides. Now, the reason I said don't go out by one block on both sides with the dark, um, dark oak is because we're going to add cobblestone on the outside, like so. Here we go. And on this side here. Now we're going to go ahead and get our upside down cobblestone stairs and place them on the underbelly. And then place an upside down slab like this, so it should look like that. We're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this end over here, so just come over here and do that. There we go. So once you have that, what we're going to go ahead and do is our take our spruce wood planks and we're going to go one, I mean our logs, and go one, two, three, and then we're going to come over here, go up, down, again, and then go over to this here. Doesn't have to be as precise, well, you know, as neat, and it should look something like this. What we're gonna go ahead and do is place two logs in the corners and one in the middle right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and place our dark oak fence and we're gonna place it in between so we have a little balcony. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is place our spruce wood, whoop, and I fell out of the tree and that's why I said place our spruce wood planks. There we go. And once we have done all that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is, I keep falling out of the tree. Get that all done there. Then what we can go and do is break right here in place there. Break right here, because we're gonna add a ladder to get into the tree house in a moment. And we're gonna start to build our top of our tree. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is line it up with the cobblestone. So see how it starts to go up by one block? We're gonna just bring it out by all the way around just two blocks like so. Bring it out by three blocks in total all the way around. Now this isn't how you make the tree exactly, but this is how I do mine to make it kind of a little bit more bushy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add my leaves in the corner. I should be making an L frame. And then we're gonna go ahead and place what we did again before, like this. And then we're gonna do it again but second time, we're gonna bring this out by two blocks. So this part should be out by two and the one below should only be out by one. Once we've done that, we're just gonna place a block in each corner. And then we're gonna do the same thing again where we just add our leaves only one block out all the way around. And then we're gonna go on top and we're gonna bring it up by two blocks high. So there we go, we have our little spruce top right there. And here we go, and this is what it should look like. Now we are not completely done, so don't, you know, say, think we are. We still need to put our ladders on. 
We also need to decorate it, and what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get, where are they? We need a dirt block, a grass block, preferably. Here's a grass block. Let me go ahead and get trap doors. Um, also, we're gonna need some kind of decoration of a flower. Now, I like the aluminiums or the blue orchids, so it's up to you what you guys use. The red tulips are good, too. Um, just really anything in a bright color. We're gonna go ahead and place that under each of the windows right here, all the way around, except for the parts where the balcony is touching. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our trap doors, where, you know, like a normal thing that most people do to make uh, big flower pots. There we go, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a tool up in each one. Whoops, did not mean to do that. And we need a door, I almost forgot the door. Now, the door color is pretty important. I use the dark oak doors, but you guys can really preferably use anything you guys would like. It's all about your personal preference. I'm gonna go into the house, place it backwards, so that way when you guys come outside, it should look something like this with an indentation in the wall. And then I'm just gonna fall down here, and we're gonna go ahead and build our ladders going all the way up the entire tree's length until you reach the point where you get to right here. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is, hold on, let me jump up into the treehouse. We're gonna go ahead and place it, I think it's right here. So it should go like that, I think. Let me just test it, because sometimes you get stuck. So I just wanna make sure, and yeah, it has to be on the back side. So when you close it, the whole room is flat. See how you don't bounce up and down? It makes it really, really flat. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is grab the dark oak stairs and go upside down like this on both sides and grab the cobblestone slabs and just place them on the inside until you make a block like this. Then what you guys can go ahead and do is get whatever you guys want, a lantern or a sea lantern or something, whatever you guys really prefer and just place it. You guys can place it directly in the middle if you guys would like to. There you guys go. So now you have a little bit of light and that's how you guys build your cozy little uh, spruce tree house. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys drop a comment saying how much you guys liked it or what you guys think I should build next, what kind of style for the trees, um, how big I should make it, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Subscribing really helps me out a lot, everyone. So do those likes and sharing it on Twitter is the best thing you guys could ever do for me. So thank you to everyone that has supported my channel throughout these years. And thank you guys again. As always, bye guys and enjoy playing Minecraft.